it's Pelle here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the Frutiger Metro style in After Effects. And because you guys clicked on this video you probably have heard or seen the guy Nolan. Uh, he's the guy I think who made the like Frutiger Metro style kind of famous. That's at least how I got like introduced to the style. And in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this style in After Effects. And uh, yeah I'm excited to show you guys and if you guys don't know who I am my name is Pelle Sjöberg I'm from Sweden I've been editing for almost a decade now and I'm also running the website called editingvisuals.com where I have a bunch of editing packs that are really going to take your editing to the next level and it's going to save you a ton of time and if that's something you would be interested in, it's going to be a link in the description down below. Now, let's start with the tutorial. So here in After Effects, I'm going to be using these clips here. And I don't know who this is. Just a girl from the New Jeans band. I got that right, at least. Uh, but yeah, my ba basically my friend just recommended, oh, we gotta use uh, the New Jeans band uh, for the, like, Fruitiger Metro style. It would fit the style a lot. I'm just here, you know, showcasing how to, you know, make the effects. I don't know. Who this is. I'm gonna keep it real here. Show some mercy. Anyways, now I'm gonna stop talking complete nonsense here and I'm gonna start making the actual effect. And what we're gonna be doing to start off with is basically roto brush out our clips here. So, and you guys have probably been roto brushing 500 times at this point. So, I'm just gonna be roto brushing this out real quick. And if you guys don't know how to roto brush, it's gonna be a link in the description. And that's going to be showing you guys how to do that basically. So now I'm done with the funniest thing to do uh, with editing. You know, rotor brushing. Can't get more enjoyable than that. I'm going to be duplicating your layers. So press Ctrl D. Then delete the rotor brush effect on the bottom layers to get the background back. And the next thing we'll be doing is you guys have probably seen all of the, you know, backgrounds. the All of the, like, speakers. All of the, like, Frigo Metro kind of symbols and all of that stuff. And I've actually spent days and even more than a month uh, developing a Frugio Metro effects pack which has over 150 animated uh, Frugio Metro textures. Just so you guys don't have to basically spend days and hours trying to recreate it uh, by yourself. So uh, that's what I'm going to be using now. So basically the only thing you have to do is basically drag and drop in the textures into your composition. So here we have the textures and obviously for the Fruitiger Metro we need to use some speakers. I'm gonna drag the orange one in, drag it under the rotor brush and it's going to look something like this now. I'm going to be adding a stripe as well. Stripe 3, I'm going to be using a green one just like that. I'm going to drag this under the rotor brush as well. You can make the rotor brush layer yellow so it pops out a little bit so you guys know all the time which is the rotor brush. We can also go to extra here. And here we have a palm tree. I really like to use this one. Drag it in like that. Drag it to the background. Increase the scale a little bit. Drag down the opacity a little bit. So I have a little palm tree in the background. And for this pack, I'm going to be giving you guys a big discount code. It's going to be Frutiger. And for the first 48 hours of this video being released, you're going to be saving $10 by using that code. But if you guys are watching this a little bit later, you guys are still going to be able to save $5 by using that discount code. So this is how the first clip looks. Really, really clean. Now to make it a little bit more Frutiger Metro, to the rotor brush layer here, we could add threshold. Here we can play around the look here we can add curves as well right above the threshold effect then we can increase the contrast here a little bit something like that and then we can add noise as well just so we don't get these harsh edges here i'm gonna set it to 10 this is the look we have now now for the background we can use the normal background layer right click go to layer styles and then gradient overlay open our gradient overlay edit overlay let's go with some green here something like that and we know that nolan he's using these kind of low quality effects uh, on his Fruity Metro looks basically so uh, how to do they basically make a adjustment layer controlled Y we can make it cover the first clip here and to scale it down I usually add mosaic I'm gonna set it to 300 I think that's a good number to be using here and then we could be adding fast box blur this is to blur out the pixelation a little bit we can set it to 2 then we can add unsharp mask. Drag on the amount a little bit, 200, and then the radius to 3. And then we could add motion tile as well. I'm gonna set the tile width to 80, and output width to 80 as well. So we get this kind of look here. I'm also going to be adding 
post rise time. So we get a little bit laggy look here. I'm going to be using 15 as frame rate. And this is how it's going to look. The easy, low quality effect here. And then for the next clip here, in the Frigo Metro textures here, we have pre made backgrounds. We could add Classic 2, for example, drag it in. And then we can drag it down here, make it cover the clip here. And to get a more 3D look now, because now everything is behind her, basically. You guys can add some extra textures. So, with the speakers again. Good adding this black speaker here. Rotate it a little bit. I'm gonna add one more texture. Color splashes. Color splash 3. Add it in. Then cut it. And now you guys can make a adjustment layer again. Control Y. Make it cover the clip. Then go to effects and presets. Use the presets. Frigo Metro effects. And here I have 20 pre-made presets you guys can just drag and drop on, like that on your clips. And it's going to be having a really cool compressed version, like, uh, yeah, Nolan's edits, basically. Drag it on like this, and you guys will get this compressed version here. Super cool. I'm going to be using the last clip here. Now for the last clip, go to backgrounds again. And here I have some plants background. We go in here, we can use the plant background one. Drag it in, cut it, and it's going to be having this plant animation in the background and of course we're going to be dragging on some extra elements here so stripe stripe one pink stripe and then drag it under the rotor brush look something like this then of course some speakers i'm gonna drag on the size a little bit change the rotation and then on the rotor brush layer here we're going to be adding threshold rgb then adjust your clip here to get a cool look something like that looks cool then you guys can add curves as well to change around a little bit with the contrast here. Looks very, very cool. I'm gonna add color splash here as well. Blue one. Drag down the size. Set it to the side. Drag it under the rotor brush. I'm gonna cut it here. Some extra butterflies is always clean to have. Butterflies 5. Under the rotor brush as well. Cut it. Here we could add a half tone. Drag it above the plant background. Cut it. Change the blending mode to subtract or something like that. Then I change the blending mode to difference. And we get this black, dark, frigometric look. Looks hella cool. And then add the adjustment layer controlled Y. Make it just above the clip. Here you guys could use the compressed version I showed you before. It's going to give you guys this look here. Which looks really, really good. And you guys, if you guys want to save this compressed effect here you guys can save that as a preset so we've got animation save animation preset and then you guys can just quickly save it so you guys can use it for another time but i'm going to be adding one of the presets from the fruger metro effects pack and here we could add the ultra fruger effect and this is my favorite yeah fruger effect from a pack because this is the most accurate look to the yeah, nolan edits and stuff like that so if you guys want you can add it to your whole edit here, cover everything. And this is the look you guys are going to be getting in the end, combining the Frugio Metro elements, the yeah, compression effects we have added. It's going to look something like this. I think it's really, really clean, and uh, I think you guys also can agree with that. And if you guys would be interested in the Frugio Metro effects pack, it's going to be a link in the description. And as I told you guys before, it's also a little discount code there included. And yeah, I'm very satisfied with this look here. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. And if you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this tutorial. Don't forget to check out my website, editingvisuals.com. That's where I have the Frigo Metro effects pack. Also check out my socials, join my Discord server, and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.